Welcome! Let's review the WYSIWYG form builder recommended for using with OpenMRS 3.x. We're going to review how to use this form builder to create a quick form and a couple examples of some of the configuration that is available to you and your team. Let's start with the basics. Imagine some stakeholders come to you and they say, we need this form for our NCD clinic. And they give you some content for this NCD outpatient intake form. What would you do next? Well, let's get started by putting that content somewhere we can work with it. So I've copied it here into a document. And I've already prepared some of the concepts that we will need. For example, I did not have the concept annual foot exam scheduled, and I've created that just for the purposes of this demo. So now that all my concepts are ready to go, let's go into the form builder. I'm going to create a new form. As you can see, there is a view where you can actually see the form being built as you build it. Well, let's get started with creating our first section of the form, because what we'd like to do is set this up so that a patient in 3.x can have this form available. All right, let's create our first page. It looks like for the NCD outpatient form, the first page requested is the current visit. Let's create a current visit section or page. And let's create another one for diabetes history. And we'll come back to that next. Good, now we've got our sections more or less defined. And in fact, you can see the two sections here. All right, well, I want to add some of these questions. So let's create the first section, the reason for visit. And since I don't have too much hierarchy in this page, I'm just gonna give it the same name. All right, the first question, create new question. As you can see, I can now build the question here and you can see the JSON schema is being updated as I, a non-technical user, use this GUI. Reason for visit. I'm going to use OBS and I'm going to render that as a text. I just want a small text box, nothing too fancy. Let's see if I have a reason for visit concept already. This searches my EMR's concept dictionary and there it is, reason for visit. Let's grab that concept and I'm going to copy this ID since the concept ID can also be my system ID for this question, that's fine. And I'm going to save that. And as you can see now here, in the form viewer, I've already got this text box ready to go. Awesome, okay, so next step. What other questions did they want? Let's see, diabetes history, first diagnosed. Now, by the way, let's say that for some reason we wanted more detail in the reason for visit, we could of course expand this to a text area. And now you can see this is a bigger field. So let's leave that like that. Okay, wonderful. Now let's create our first question under diabetes history. Okay, first question, first diagnosed. And I want this to be a date. And for the concept, let's see if I have date diagnosed. All right, I don't have that one, so let's try to find diagnosis date. And we'll see if that one I have. And indeed, here we go, I have a diagnosis date concept. Let's use this one for the purposes of the demo, though in real life we'd wanna make sure that that diagnosis date was specifically about diabetes. Okay. And now that's saved. Let's see how that's looking. Here we go. Date first diagnosed is ready to go. And let's add the remainder of our questions here. New question. When was the last visit for diabetes? Also a date question.
there we go. Now I've got the second question. We're almost done. This has been so quick. And then we will have a look at how it's coming together in our actual application. Foot exam, observation, and this one I want as a radio because I want them to pick whether it has or has not been scheduled. So let's try annual foot exam. Great, and that has its own unique ID, which we will use. And here we can see in the concept dictionary, I've attached answers to this concept. And I can uh, choose to use only a few of those answers, or I can select all of them. And in this case, that is indeed what I want. Okay. There we are. Now, for the purposes of uh, moving quickly, let's finish the last one, the annual eye exam, no problem. Let's create a new question, annual eye exam. This is also an OBS. I want to render it as a radio as well, and let's search for annual eye exam. Here we go. So fast to find the concepts and answers that I want for this question. And here we go. So let's save our work. In fact, I probably should have saved earlier. We will save it like this. I'm going to call this point of care NCD outpatient intake form. And for encounter type, let's just say that it's part of check in. Okay. Great. This is looking roughly like what I expected. So let's go ahead and I'm going to absolutely make sure uh, that it's saved. Uh, we did that already, so that's fine. And let's try, I'm just gonna copy my schema just in case. Mm, and let's actually even publish so that we'll be able to find this form. Here we go. And we can see the form as expected. Okay, now it's fully saved. It's published. Let's render the schema, make sure that everything is absolutely saved. Okay, so now let's go into John Wilson's patient chart to test out doing this new NCD form for John Wilson. And we're going to search for NCD. Here we go. Here's that form that we just created. We can see it's never been completed for John. Let's see what our work looks like. And here it is. Here's the reason for visit. So let's say, um, pain in left foot, um, uh, possible neuropathy. And here we can see his date of diagnosis with multiple options to select, as well as his last visit for diabetes. So let's say he came in last week at around this time, and let's say that uh, he was actually just diagnosed this month. This is all pretty new for him. He's not had an annual foot exam scheduled or an annual eye exam, so I should probably, as a clinician, uh, act on that. And we'll save it, and we can see that this was successfully submitted for John. And that's how fast it is to build that initial first form.